Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I am back today to do some crafting for our art journals. And uh, the inspiration for this uh, is this wonderful kit by uh, Tracy Fox, Love Junk Journals. And this is her arty, arty kit. And I thought we could use these beautiful tags, bases, um, as just that, a tag base for um, some little drawn botanicals that we could add to them. Aren't they beautiful? Just show you some other items in the kit. I'm not sure, if, I don't think I printed it all out. There's so much. Great stuff, these butterflies are amazing. Um, and we've got swatching charts and the large swatch charts. They're really beautiful. This actually would be really nice to make a big journal card with. And so these would great, be great bases as well. Should take the time to go through them for you, pardon me, my goodness. Just back from physio, so I thought I would try and do some um, crafting before uh, any discomfort sets in. So yeah, that's not the entire kit, but that is, those are the bits I think that I will use uh, in the next little bit. So these bases, I've got a piece of watercolor paper and I'm gonna use pen and draw with um, waterproof ink. This is a Uniball Air. You can, I think I got mine on Amazon. Uh, you don't have to use a Uniball Air, but, um, and you don't have to use waterproof ink either because I'm not gonna be adding any paint to it. It's just gonna be drawing. Uh, and then I have some pieces of uh, this um, khaki colored, it's Recollections cardstock, and I get it at Michael's. So I'm gonna use that to back my tags. And I really love this one. So I'm gonna just do this part first so we can set it aside and let it dry. And um, take it from there. So I cut one off before I do my gluing because I find sometimes with art glitter glue, your glue can, start to dry if I try and put the glue behind three of them at once. So I find kind of the sweet spot is to do two of them at once and then just add the third. And then I don't get those dried ridges, dried glue ridges on my tags. So I'm just gonna set this like that. And I can feel it's nice and smooth, which is great. And I'm just gonna do this third one. Maybe we'll do two sets of three. Um, I'm sure we won't get through that many in the time that we have, but we could try. So there's three. They now have a nice solid base on them. And so which of these do we wanna use? I like how vibrant that one is. I think we'll use this next one. I'm set this off to the side. We may use bits for something later. So let's very quickly cut two and then take it from there. So put my glue on the back. You could use a glue stick, especially if you're letting it dry for a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's good to put it underneath something, with glue stick in particular, it's good to put it underneath something heavy uh, so that you'll be good to go. Guys, please let me know how the sound is on this. I know in the last one I had some comments that the sound wasn't loud enough, so I've adjusted my mic and I'm hoping you can hear me a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to try not to mumble because I know that when I get into the depths of something, <laughs> I can start to mumble. It's just one of those things. Okay, so, and then I'm going to set that on there. Perfect. So we've got these six at the ready. Let's move this out of the way. I'm going to put this under here to keep it flat under my nice firm board. Now, I have this watercolor paper, and like I said, you don't need to use watercolor paper. I like the thickness of it, so um, that was my motivation 
Now this is a Tim Holtz um, deckle edge cutter. And I just thought that would be kind of fun. Just one second before I do that. I need to be sure that what I'm doing is going to fit nicely on the tag. So I think because this is about three and a quarter inches wide and about just a second, just trying to determine by looking at here, just about six inches tall, then I need this to be a little bit thinner with this edge here. I'm going to take that to two and a half. And my apologies if that is super loud. And I think that's eight and a half. So if I go four and a quarter or four and a half, that looks like it's going to be about right. So four and a half. That makes a beautiful deckled edge for our drawings. Okay, nice. So let me pick and do another one at about two and a half. And we're not doing elaborate drawings. Don't worry. It is something you'll be able to do. And don't worry if you don't have this perfectly straight. And quite frankly, you could easily, I'm going to put a deckle edge on, on these ends. You could easily use a tear ruler for this as well. Um, I just don't have one. Uh, my tear ruler, I have it here. Oh my gosh, guys, that sound was awful. I apologize for that. And I'm going to cut this straight edge off the bottom here. Um, just so that we have deckled edges on all except for that that fun perforated edge and let's see <laughs> I'm going to do one more and I do apologize for the noise coming from this it's it's intense okay we'll set that aside cut this in half I don't use the deckled edge uh, cutter very often but I'm quite happy with that and yeah like I said you can easily just tear your paper watercolor paper you it can be torn for sure. um, a lot of people hand tear their edges uh, I just because I have this deckled edge cutter I love being able to use that okay terrific so we have our little pieces here and I'm just going to do some sort of random drawing on those and then we'll cut out our tags and we'll play now let's just double check before we we get into the drawing let's just double check that that's going to sit nicely on there it is that's terrific yeah that's going to be a lovely size. Okay, <laughs> almost put this underneath. All right, so let's just do some fun little drawing on these. And you can use either side. There's one side of watercolor is always a little flatter. And this one has a little more texture. And because we're just using ink, you can, you can use either. If I was using watercolor, I like to use the more textured side. Um, so, <clears throat> and I'd also recommend... If you're somebody who's nervous about drawing, then absolutely use a pencil first and then go over it with ink. I'm just going to live dangerously and go ahead and draw. But having said that, I have done a lot of drawing in my day, so I might be a little more confident with it. So for this one, I'm just going to make a long arc like that, and then I'm just going to it's just a, a classic sort of fern design that I think would be kind of fun. So just little shapes like this. You can make them get slightly larger as you go down. Totally up to you. And they can start to curve to one way or another. Like so, and yeah, I think maybe we'll do one more and then we'll let it curve down towards the bottom a little at the bottom here. 
And I think it's kind of fun if you were to just create kind of a, I've done this sort of thing before and it's fairly simple to do. Just kind of making a smile the whole length of that leaf, like so. And playing it like that. And then I like to just, on one side, make some little stripies, which would kind of make it look like the little stems that are in the leaf. We'll just go like that. Very simple. We'll try and do a few different drawings. Um, and I'll check the time just to make sure we have enough time to finish our our art tags. And if you've got the beauty of having waterproof ink is that you could go back and add some watercolor afterwards. So that is just a very simple, fun drawing. You can do it. You can do it. So that's just a simple leaf. Um, we could do uh, kind of like a Oh, shall we do another kind of leaf maybe? Kind of like a, a um, what am I thinking? Here, let's do something like this. Let's go and then just go down like that. And then we can just have kind of a simplified version of that fern we just made. See, I, I didn't do that perfectly and that's okay. Just very simple. And then with this one, I think it would be fun just to put a whole bunch of lines stemming from the top and going in the shape like that. And then I like to turn it so that I can get the line in the curve so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Put our leaves like that. You see, you can see these are very basic, nothing fancy, but when we add it to a tag, I think it's gonna look really cool. So there's another leaf. I don't know if you can see those. Let me just double check and see. Yep, you can do, okay. Sorry, I gotta put this, glue, this needle back in my glue. Okay. Um, what other sort of thing should we do? I'm thinking, we could do kind of a like a, a fun sort of a wiggly line. So if we go maybe like this and then maybe have another wiggly line join up towards the bottom and then a wiggly line drawn there. So one there, just some wiggly lines and then just a little simple flower like that on the top of these. It's just a three petal flower and you can't get it wrong. Like that. Um, could have another one coming out here. These are just made up flowers. Probably look similar to something in nature, I hope. <laughs> you never know. And you can just add a few more flowers like that. And I think, and then just kind of fill it out, put a little leaf, leaf. And I mean, you could stamp these if you wanted, if you didn't feel confident in drawing, um, that might be fun to do as well. You could definitely use um, sticker if you have it, that would be fun as well. But I'm trying to do a little bit more in the drawing category. So there, just very, very simple flower. So we've done three very simple, yet I think they're quite effective drawings. Okay, and let's see what else do we wanna do. Um, well, we could do something that looks a little bit like a um, lily of the valley maybe. So I'm gonna do a, a leaf like this in the background and then I'm going to just come up and do that kind of a hook 
and bring in another hook. And this is this is how I think Lily of the Valleys, um, they kind of look like that. So <laughs> then what I'm going to do is just kind of make like a little tulipy shape. Just doing three like that. Two, three. Like that. And that kind of gives you a little of the valley. We could do one coming in here as well. We want it to fill in the space. And if you want it, you could try and put another leaf in there. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm just going to go like this. Go in the back. And just join it like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some lines in there. Kind of the lines of my leaf. And here as well. Very lightly back here. I want my I want my plant to stand out. So in order for those to be more prominent, those stem of the flower, I'm just going to deepen that a little bit. Now I'm not making mint. This is not a drawing lesson. I'm just showing you how I would try and do it. And then, you know, you can do it and apply your own level of comfort to it. So, and I think that kind of gives us the feel of a lily of the valley. What do you think? Something like that? Okay. The leaves are quite easy to do. So, so we've got those. <laughs> How are we for time? Let me just double check. I hope I'm not boring you. Silly. Okay, we're good. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's see. We could do something like, how about we do a stem? And we're going to do, and like I say, do it with pencil first, if you want. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to give like a, a purple cone flower sort of feel. And then on a purple cone flower, there's just a whole series of like little circles here at the top in a nice little mound. So we'll do something like that. And then their leaves are, I think, are more like that. Um, and then we could have maybe a second, a smaller one. Right here. And uh, hopefully nobody says, that doesn't look like a purple coneflower. That's not very realistic. It's not meant to be realistic. So I'm gonna join that here. And I'm going to put a little leaf there. And I think that's kind of fun. Now, because I've got that line there, I might go put some lines in there to kind of hide it a little. If you've done this with pencil first, then you don't need to do that. And I'm not worried about shadows with these. These are meant to be just basic little drawings. Just like that. Okay. So that's our little purple cone flower. I think these are more effective, the real simple ones, but it's all good. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Maybe one more leaf. Let's go back to the leaves and see what we like. Okay. Mm. Just trying to think. Um, a ginkgo. I think it's ginkgo. Ginkgo, ginkgo. Probably saying it wrong. a leaf that's kind of shaped like that and we could do another one here it's got like that like I said this is very basic like those maybe create a little stem like here and then what they do is they have lines if I remember correctly they kind of go from the top in this fan sort of shape. Not sure if this is my favorite, but it's okay. We're just we're just having fun. So that's kind of what we would do. I don't know what the 
if there's anything else I would necessarily do with that. I kind of want to put something back here. So what if we add another one like that? I'm trying to fill in that space a little bit better in just lines like this. Okay, <laughs> that's my attempt at a ginkgo. Ginkgo, ginkgo. All right, so those are the drawings. And like I said, because I've used water or waterproof ink, I can easily um, take watercolor and just add some color around them if I want it. You could use marker as well. But in the meantime, let's cut these out. Now I'm gonna use my straight cutter to cut these out. Um, I don't want the, um, I don't want the uh, bezeled edges on this. Okay. Sorry, so it's an absolutely beautiful kit. There's a part of me that thinks that Tracy made this just for me, that she knew I needed this kit. Um, but it's fantastic. It's going to be great for our girl. It really is. So, let's this and we'll cut these all out quickly and I do apologize if you're sensitive to the noise um, so that's three and we will cut out all six and see how many we can get done in the time that's available sorry that one didn't cut as much as I needed it to there there we go. So guys, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, are you working in your art journals? Um, what are you working on these days? I've got a couple of mini journals that I'm finishing up. And um, I've been trying to do... Uh, my goal is to do at least one painting a month. So I did one fairly large painting in January and then two smaller ones. Uh, so they've already been uh, taken by the family. <laughs> it seems to be the way it goes. Um, and that's fine, I'm, I'm happy for them to do that. It actually makes me feel real nice when they want them. So just gonna cut this with scissors. So we have our tags, our tag bases. So yes, I mentioned my back earlier. It's um, apparently the injury is, uh, I'm getting better. My, my um, muscles are getting stronger. The pain at night is has not changed very much and that to me is the most debilitating part of it um, because um, it's hard to get a really reasonable night's sleep so um, I know it's going to get better so I'm not going to worry so much um, but yeah sometimes I have to nap which I am not a fan of I'm not a nappy kind of gal Oh, I'm just looking for something over here. Ooh. All right, that one there is. I was looking for, remember the swatches we did last time? I was wondering if I had any of those nearby, but I don't see them. Oh, well. It's all good. Okay, so this is essentially what I want to do. I want to add these bits to a tag. I like that one there. Is that one there, or do I, I think I like it from there better. Yeah, I like this leaf here. Put the purple coneflower there. Um, I really like this one for some reason. And then there's my ganko. Actually, look how nice it looks on there. Okay, 
So this is what I want to do. I'm just going to take my glue because it would be fun to add some more stuff to these. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the middle for now. Um, because I think it might be fun to add some washi or something. So I'm going to glue that down there. And then this one. And you don't need to have any more glue than what you have, what I'm putting. But I just think it would be kind of, I love that one. And then our little purple cone flower. So I guess I'm putting enough glue up to about a half an inch or a centimeter from the edges. There we go. It's quite like the fern. So we'll get our fern on here. Like that. And then we've got this fun leaf. I didn't put it on the other one, but I just thought, hmm, that might be good to add a little bit more of that on there. And then it's growing on me. Pardon the pun. Okay. Very nice. Okay, I'm just going to reach up behind me. I think I have my, I have some washi here. Yep. That this kind of washi might be kind of fun to use here. Sorry, I'm just moving some things on my desk and I apologize for the sounds. So I think it would be fun to put a little bit of washi on here on these as well. And let me just see if you can see everything. Uh, good. Okay. Excellent. They're there. Perfect. So I'm going to put got this nice brown washi and um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna try and use glue stick for this oops so I'm gonna take the cover off and just run that on here oh goodness I've got got a mess of glue coming off it but I do like the looks of a little bit of of washi along the sides and whatnot. And I'm just gonna, that glue is super sticky. I think it's because it's been sat on a part of my desk here that is in, that's in the uh, daylight, it gets a lot of sun. So I think that looks really nice. So maybe we'll just kind of mass make these. Oh, this is a nice color for this one. And I'll just, Try and be mindful of where there's more um, kind of white space there. I don't know why. I like putting it in at least two spots. It's just one of those things. So we'll set this over here like that. Very nice. Um, it's the same color. I think I've got two of the same color here. I'm going to use this brown for this one and just run it over the glue. There's quite a bit of white space down here. Put the glue there and another piece. And you know what? The other thing we could do, I was just thinking just as I'm doing this, I could very easily use some of, where did I put Here's these beautiful papers? I think I've got my washi on top of it right now. Just thinking I could use some, just one sec. Let's see if I can grab it. Ah, there it is. Okay. We could use some of the, the um, swatches that she has here as well. Just looking at this 
sorry, this is not very exciting, is it, to listen to? Okay, I like this one. This one's got some fun swatches on it. So we could easily um, kind of tear down some swatches. Let's see. And what I think I would do is I would just go like that and then I would hair down. Now, if I had my swatches that we painted ourselves, this would be a good place for them. And I actually think this is kind of a good thing to have on this one with the Genko um, and put that on. So we could use this instead or in addition to, if we wanted, the washi. I'm just going to set that down there. Yeah, I really like that. I think that looks really, really good. I'm just going to check for time. Okay. I keep saying, okay. See that that's coming up a little bit. Excellent. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks really nice. Steal a little bit more of this. Um, and you can put it in different places. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be even uh, that could go down here and put that on we could fold it over so I'm just putting it down in the corner here folding it over I think that's kind of cool as well and then do we want any on this one I think I'm going to go back to this bluey color. Put that on. I don't know. I just think this is kind of a fun way to get some of your personal drawing or art onto a um, onto something for in your journal. I just think it's kind of fun. To do, I'm going to set this right here. Okay, so they all have a little something. I think these two could use a little extra. I do like that blue, so it's going to happen. Uh, that just here at the top on that one. I think I'll put the brown on the other one. Like so. And I'm going to set that just up here. Okay. Now, the other thing I thought that might be kind of fun. Stickies all over me. I thought about getting some brads out. I'm going to pull out a bunch of brads here. And um, see about, you know, adding those. Oh got all kinds of things here so um, actually as I look at this I see I have some little tiny uh, paper clips and those might be kind of fun to stick somewhere just it just looks cute so I'm gonna do that and they don't have to go in the same spot everywhere but look at me putting it in the same spot <laughs> just having fun creating. Oh, I'm going to set this one over here. Actually, that's kind of the beauty of not putting glue all the way to the top. I'd like to say I had planned that, but I didn't. So there's that. I'll set this one over here, I think. If it'll let me. Yeah. Cool. And there must be one more. Four more. Two more. Yeah, I do that just to make sure that it's going to open. And we'll do this and open. Set that there. Okay. Now, I've got the pokey tool out because I like the idea of putting a brad or two in this. Now, I could have put the brad in before, um, 
so that it didn't have the prongs through there. We have these edges. Let's see if it's going to let me do that without going into the backing. I'm going to try it. So if you want to put brads on, it's probably best to do it beforehand if you don't want them to be seen on the backing. But I think the brad looks kind of cool and I can fit one down here as well. And you don't have to have even numbers or odd numbers of brads. It's totally up to you. You're creating it totally up to whatever you want to do. I did not want to go in the hole. So I'm trying to use my nail here. And it's easier said than done. And if I pull it up a bit, that's okay. I'm going to go back and put a little more glue under those corners. But doesn't that look cute? Just adding a little bit of, you know... A little more interest, a little more texture. Let's set this one in here. Being careful not to put it all the way through. I think that's a silver one. I just think it adds a cute little amount of texture. Um, just a little bit there. And then I also have, I think, Unless I, I've knocked them down. Good again. I think it would be kind of fun to have some um, of Tracy's labels too on these. So this one, I'm going to just stick a label over here. I could still do a brad if I want it. And I think I definitely want a brad on this one. Let's see, there's a copper color. And we'll open it up. And then I can go back and put just some glue underneath and push that down so it's going to stay there. Um, but we could also, just a second, I'm grabbing some labels that fell to the floor. We could also put a uh, label on here, which I think would be great. And I'm going to... want to put it right there just a label like that these are looking very much like Tracy styled um, tags so I hope I'm not overtaking all of the making it hard for you to see each individually by putting them all on top of one another um, here's a nice brand set that in there I'm going to put some glue behind it, glue it down, like so, and get a, get a nice little label, Tracy label, and we can set that down here, which I think looks really cute. Down there, or do I want it up here? I think, I think I want it right there. So I feel like that tag is done. That tag is done. It does not have a brad. Um, you can easily put a label on this guy. just down there I think would be kind of fun these are fun little sketchy sketches like that and we can go back and put some glue there and some glue back down here it's not going anywhere but if you want you can put glue there the other thing you could do 
is you could easily take some, um, gosh, what am I looking for? I'm just going to cut, oh, here. I'm going to just show you this by way of example. Because they all have a paper clip, you could stick something under there. So if you had a tiny tag or something, you could stick it under under there to add to your um, to your tag. So he's done one, two, three, four. Um, got another tag here. And I actually think I want this red one on here somewhere, maybe right on the tag itself. So I'm just gonna grab that. This one does not have a brad, um, but it doesn't have to have a brad. I think that's got lots going on as it is. And let me see, do I have another? I do, I have another label. I literally had to get them off the floor. And there, or there, there I think. And of course you can add more to these, like you could um, put a, um, could easily have a tab on them. I only had this tab earlier. Let me just show you what I would do if I wanted one of these tabs. You could use different kinds of tabs. You don't have to have this kind, of course. I hope I kept my voice at a reasonable level for you. So. There we go. Just put that on there, fold it over, and there's a tag. So I think we're creeping up on time, so I'm going to call that a video. But let me just very quickly show you all of the tags we made very quickly, I think. Um, we did our drawing and we went through and it was less than 45 minutes in total. So we've got this fun tag. Um, I think that's the only one without a brad. A brad here, they've all got a little paper clip, a little bit of washi. Beautiful. And it's Tracy's bases that really give them all kinds of um, artistic. They just add to the artistic flair. And then some of her swatches. And by all means, some of your make use some of your own handmade swatches. A little purple cone flower on this one with a couple of brads. And you know what? This is quickly moving up to be one of my favorites, the Ginkgo. And it does not have a brad either. And like I said, we don't have to. So that is our project for the day. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you give it a go. Let me know how it goes. Um, slow down the video if you found my the drawing uh, a little too fast. Having said that, it's not precision stuff. Um, so... Do not, do not be hard on yourself. You can do it. Uh, so there you go. Thanks everyone for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care everyone. Bye.